it wilted at sunrise. With a honeyed man who dazzled my bandy eyes. I had yet to witness anything as mesmerizing as his blinding light, his charismatic charm, his yin and yang. He enchanted me with the sweet fables dancing upon the moonlit garden of his face. He coddled me with the sugar-coated promises I tasted on his lips. A mere kiss swiftly knocked down the pillar that held up my spine for him to catch me in his arms. The days I spent cocooned in your embrace fall softly around me like a dream. Your lips become my sunrise. I bask in the feeling of waking with my face buried into the curve of your neck. Your words caress me. Your laughter dances around us, warming my skin. I have never felt so beautiful. Until suddenly our lows kick in. Your eyes go cold on my walls go up. Cracks begin to surface. We begin to break. So you sing me the blues with a mouthful of rose petals. As the storms in our heads turn us the sharpest thorns, I can no longer deny the truth. It is transparent that we are making each other miserable. As I leave you with the floodgates behind my eyes breaking free, I ponder where I went wrong. It occurs to me in a moment of clarity that we are not pot plants, we are wild flowers. In order to bloom, we need to be free. The season is changing, and I am changing too. I am drifting away on a sea of orchids, lilies and daffodils, where the wind kisses the water, and the men on the bank gaze at me with their blazing eyes. Though it is too raw for me to become entangled with another, so I walk on. I shed my scales like an elegant, cold-blooded beast, sweltering the morning sun with a missing alibi. There you are, smiling at me fondly from afar, with that twinkle still in your eyes. And though it aches my wild flower, though I miss you every day, it fills me with delightful joy to see you standing tall in the garden that you made.